Did you see Governor Abbott? He just put saw blades in the buoys. Yeah, that shit already killed two people, bro. That's the governor put saw blades in these buoys that people used to get across that they people used to get from where they're at to America, bro. And it's already it's already killed two people. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Mars with a dog back with another banger bro i ain't even gotta say too much man like comment subscribe become part of the marzo mafia let's go have you noticed the immigration in the last two or three years has picked up dramatically they all got ski masks on bro bro this nigga over here looking like joker and shit ladies and gentlemen i'm tommy g and whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro just pointed the blick at me. Chill. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Chill out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G, and today we're taking What's a good, deep Tommy dive into the world good, of coyotes, immigrants, and human smuggling. You said coyotes. Today we're taking what? a deep dive into the world of coyotes, immigrants, and human smuggling. Human smuggling, the trafficking, awesome. My boy said, actually, let me let me not throw those up. I am not a part of a gang. This country's coming down, and I'm pretty sure you're aware of that. How long do you see yourself doing this? All my life. All my life, bro. Damn. All my life is crazy. So it looks like people just got caught crossing. Hold on. I know this is a very serious situation, but she kind of... Let me, let me not say she looks good, and then like she's like fucking 12 or something. Let me chill. Let me chill, bro. So it looks like people just got caught crossing the border. They don't the errors. In today's story, we have three main characters: illegal immigrants, okay. human smugglers, okay. and U.S. government. Okay. Immigrants are sacrificing everything to come to this country to escape nah, ja oppression. Like, bro. And nah, bro. Nah, ja like, like yo, my, people really be dying to come here. That's why I don't take for granted me being in, in, in America, regardless of. Like the stuff that goes on here and stuff like that. I don't take for granted being here because one, my family's Jamaican and we, we we come from a long line of just bad stuff happening in terms of like gangs and violence and stuff like that. And also it's like people really die to come here, bro. Like, so I, I never take for granted being here because there's, there's, there's literally someone else on the other side of the world fighting for their lives to get here, bro. So economic circumstances back home. The authorities are now bracing for up to 10,000 migrants a day. More than 10,000 migrants damn. in just 72 hours. It's like 70,000 people a week. It's like 280,000 a month. That's like 5.6 million a year. The human smugglers see an opportunity to make thousands and thousands of dollars while they got the law Glick and the BMW. What the hell? And the yeah. U.S. government. They make they make twenty five to thirty bands every time they take five people from where they're at to San Antonio. Do y'all realize that if yo if they make like five runs a day, that's a hundred bands a day. That's seven hundred bands a month, and that's two point eight million a month. I mean, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. that's seventy. That that's seven hundred k a week. Two point eight million a month. Uh, government hey. is pulling out all the stops to keep these illegal immigrants. I'm, I'm out a little of slow. Country, my bad. Including buoys filled with saws, a militarized border, and heavy punishments for people involved in the smuggling. Now, they we being to talk to each of these positions. characters involved in this story. Boots on the ground on the Texas and Mexico border. Let's begin. Oh boy, welcome to Texas. I, 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 I fuck with Texas music heavy. I'm from Texas. Man, Today we're diving man, into one of the most man. important topics we've covered yet on the channel. The story of human smuggling, illegal immigration, and the human desire for a better life. We're going to cover both sides of the issue, the damage and impact illegal immigration has on communities and countries, mm -hmm. and also the human side of the desire just to improve your outcome in life. We're going to be talking See, to now, this is This is why I mess with, with Tommy G, because he be, he be having like a whole good, like different message to what usual media says about this type stuff like 
He always got a good message to say. I, I, this is why I mess with Tommy. And immigrants that are making the death-defying journey to America. Death-defying, not bro. That's that's not even a word, bro. People like a lot of people do it in the game. America is the land of opportunity. So what is it like seeing these walls be constructed in your town? Surprising, bro. Like, you live here your whole life without this fence being here, and then like shit's getting a little more serious around here. This looks like a, a holding station for the process. There's probably 15, 20, maybe even 30 law enforcement vehicles here. We're in Texas. I ain't seen, I ain't never seen Florida more talk. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it all. Florida, what the hell are they doing here? But it's just that bad, bro. You guys can only come on that area. Were there any signs? I didn't see. I'm telling you, damn. We're here state on the border. Trooper, there's trooper, another right. round of people being, it looks like, actively deported. There's buses right here. We don't know how close to the situation we can get. Some of these people made it from Honduras, Colombia, Venezuela. Honduras? And now getting... Jesus. That's that's far, far away. Colombia, oh, Venezuela. These guys got caught in the border and they're getting sent back. They crossed on the backside. Yeah. You make it all the way to the edge of America, and this is what you encounter. Look, someone's jacket is stuck from trying to. Someone's sweater is stuck. You make it all the way over there just to get caught up again, man. Getting stuck in barbed wire. Just to get taken back. You see Governor Abbott? He just put saw blades in the buoys. Yeah, that shit already killed two people, bro. That's fucked up. What? Oh, the government is trying to kill these people. Hold on, go back, go back, go back. So they they said. Imagine your mom wearing that. And getting stuck in barbed wire. Did you see Governor Abbott? He just put saw blades in the buoys. Yeah, that shit already killed two people, bro. That's the governor put saw blades in these buoys that people used to get across that they people used to get from where they're at to America, bro. And it's already it's already killed two people. These people are fighting for their lives, and the government's just like, nah, we're gonna put saw blades in these buoys and just kill y'all. What? What is it like for people living That's in this type of town? Up, it get a little scary for people, bro. Like you really will see like crowds of them walking through neighborhoods here. And your grandma could be walking outside and like, oh shit, like be be in fear. Like these people could just rush in my house, like because they're thirsty, hungry, want money, want to steal my car. No, that's that's that's, yeah. that's the other thing though. Like, like some of these immigrants be like grimy. They be looking for anything. Like like like. They bum rush someone's house to get some food, some water. Might take your car. You you, you just gotta watch out for these certain things. So, like, some of these people be grimy. Ranches, you can't bro, trust like, nobody. Trucks, bro. Like he's around there, they'll steal that shit. Cause like they got no option. You feel me? This man right here has been with us for some it's, the, it's not even shit. like they want to steal though. They they just literally have no option. We've done on the channel. We got raided by Mexican police last time I met you. You're right. Holy. Are we rolling? Oh, we might end up in the fucking ditch just so they could just like have no paperwork, no problems, no holy. So we're gonna go talk to some smugglers. Are you nervous at all? I'm straight, bro. Why does he got his shirt off? I'm gonna put a shirt on and we're gonna go. You said the what? You put heads here. It's like 110 degrees outside. That's why we got the ACs. So we're not doing that so bad. So bad. I'll do one of them. Where are a lot of these people coming from? Like, is there a specific country? Honduras? Honduras, Honduras is a big jump. Everyone that goes over the border, does the cartel kind of have their hands in it in some way? Yeah, kind of. They like sure. money, right? Doing business with the cartel? The cartel is the, like the last group on earth I think I'd want to be stuck in a room with. Not nah, facts. Like me, you know? I ain't gonna like, lie. The, the, um, the cartel? Um... The Jamaicans and like a really vicious Asian gang. That's probably those are probably the three people I do not want to be in the same room with. It may be the Russian mafia. I'm not trying to be in the same room with none of them people. From Honduras, and then they're here. What's the next step of the journey? Passing the checkpoint and that's the checkpoint over there. How do you make it past a checkpoint? Sometimes they'll try to teach them how to say like, oh you're a citizen or this or that. Like, they'll pass but they, 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 they teaching them Anglins? Like, you know, when it's like point, when it can't be outside right? like, you know, when it rains is the best time. So what is that like? You're sitting at the checkpoint waiting for someone to look at your car. What is going through your head? You pass like by yourself. You just oh. said that they're gonna go shopping or something. So you just cross, they're like finally checkpoint. 
they take like a path crazy. and then they the trail or something, and you go through the checkpoint alone, <clears throat> how many people at a time is safe to do? I smell some green shit. Oh, they taking shit out the window. This man got glickies, bro. That oh, that toilet is nasty. Hold on, go back. Not to grow. Oh, that toilet's nasty. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna show. Who? Who? That's nasty. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my gosh. How long does the journey usually take for people? What are the risks involved with doing this? I heard a story of a guy. He was driving a 18 wheeler with like 100 people in it and didn't get paid. So he just peaced out, left the people in the van. Like, tell me a crazy that's story that crazy. happened while doing this, or like a. a I mean, he, he, he ain't getting paid though. I mean, me, I don't know what I would do in that situation, but he ain't getting paid. He kind of, he kind of got the right to say deuces. You've got into while doing this. <laughs> Coyotes, human smugglers have a bad reputation. Bro, just dump the, bro, just dump the glicks. How much does it cost someone to make the journey over? How lucrative of a, is a profession for people in your shoes, for the coyotes? How old were you guys when you started off? Like 16, 17. They make making bands at 16, 17. The crazy sin that's gone down while you've been doing this. I got this stuff. They're telling me that we've got like 30 minutes to go on. And I'm like, no, I don't have nothing. They're telling me I'm taking a lot of it. And then I got back, I come back, and the police is the police are in the house. Your spidey sense told me. You're going to be like, you're going to be like, how long do you see yourself doing this? Oh my, oh my but it's like, yo, like if y'all get caught though, y'all not getting out of, like if y'all get caught doing this, y'all not getting out of jail. Like y'all gonna spend the rest of y'all lives in that junk, bro. They, they really, they really are serious about this. How do you tell your parents what you do for money? Like, what do they know about this? What does your mom say about it? The governor recently. That's the only thing moms can say, bro. Started making these buoys that have saw blades in them, so people that are crossing the river can get cut up. They can die. They can what die, do bro. Like the gut. This just shows and that y'all government don't care about y'all, bro. They don't leaders. care about the immigrants. So we have a group here, and we bring somebody to send them. They, instead of saying I'm really supposed to, they took them somewhere else and they sold them for my money. That's when the person gets involved, because, you know, they're just going to fill them up. And say I send you driving the car with chicks to Houston, and you don't make it, you get caught. If I tell them to get mad, they don't want to do after you. Will they get you in America? It doesn't matter. They hurt you. Do you think Jesus, they got hawked down on lock. Bro said, if if you're smuggling some people and you get caught, the cartel's gonna go after you, and they don't care where you at, bro. They gonna. Fishing should be illegal. Do you think we should just have open borders where anyone can come in? No, 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 no. The reason why is because you can't trust everybody, bro. You can't trust all these people, bro. Some people come here with motives, like bad motives. Now, I'm not saying, oh, we should we should be discriminatory towards immigrants. We shouldn't let some of them in. Like that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is having the borders just straight open. That leaves that leaves instances of where the enemy can come in, bro. Like certain countries that don't like us can come in, bro. Like you feel me? There there needs to be no room for error, bro. When it comes to the safety of all Americans. Yours has picked up dramatically. Really? You made a lot of money. <laughs> we can't act like this country is all that perfect. This country's coming down, and I'm pretty sure you're aware of that. Yeah. We're gonna make America a better place. America is coming down, but it's like if a lot. Somebody's got it's like all the way to Chicago. What's, but it's like, what's better, living in Honduras or living in America? You feel me? How many trips or how many different people do they have to link up with to get there? Any final thoughts before we head out? Don't be safe. Don't do some dumb shit. Don't miss America. Facts. 
As we stopped to get gas, we noticed Border Patrol also getting gas too. We decided to try and talk to them. This is what happened. In the last two or three years, the border has been in crisis. Is that accurate to say? It has. Where do you notice most of the people coming from? Is it a particular country or region or is it all over the place? It's all over the place. You see, know, now why I see these type of videos, people be saying like, oh, the, um, the officers are Hispanic and the officers are minorities and the officers are black and they they should have some sort of like camaraderie and like no bro no that's that's not the way it works bro at the end of the day this is their job bro this is this is this is how they get paid man uh yeah man I, that's just the way it works Cuban Venezuelans uh, more Mexican nationals Russians Russians that was the first time I came to stop, uh, Russians the other gee day, they were like well, I'm Russian bro. Hey, so, yo. A lot of times, these people, their, their families are working hard to give them money to, to come over here, and they view this as the land of opportunity. Do you think their mind changes once they get here, or do they believe, or once they cross the border, it's like, this is the American dream? I truly believe that they they think that once they cross here, they're free. And they are, because they, they, they do get to stay here. But ever since Title 42 came in, it's like some get sent yeah. back. And What's Title 42? Title 42 just means the Mexican nationals, Hondurans, and if I'm not mistaken, Venezuela getting sent back deported. Before Does them, that title that's discriminatory as hell. <laughs> Does them is crazy. Effect, that's discriminatory. They were all mm. You will get a piece of paper once the uh, immigrant will get processed and said, here's a paper, you got to go to court, you're free to stay. And you guys seen a lot of action right now. Oh yeah, we just had a pursuit the other day of a stolen vehicle for smuggling. I don't know if you guys heard about the Kia boys. I did the documentary on the Kia boys. The G well, Kia yes. boys are essentially sitting in Kia. The Kia boys are all the here, way down up, here? Take off. I don't know anything about the Kia boys. The here. Kia boys are all the way down in Texas. Y'all boy, bro, y'all boys in Milwaukee is making waves all the way down in Texas. Are you serious? Talking about. Yeah. Tommy, appreciate okay, it, man. Have a good night, Absolutely, okay? man. Y'all be safe. So far in this channel, we've done a great job of getting the outlaw side of the story. Mm -hmm. But I think it is in important to include the law enforcement side. Because there's a yin yang, yang to two, every single two, story. Three, I think we have to give some stories, understanding bro. to what they see and go through every single day you think that's border patrol yeah that's what they are see, see, these are all troopers. troopers bro look there's some buoys over there these are the legendary buoys that are talked about do we see any saws yeah, right dude, that's middle. what they are right here bro this dude. is the saw bro dude that shit is hella sharp too oh so you hell are nah. traveling hundreds of miles that to can, get here that the can, american that dream and this is what deep. you encounter a gift from the state of Texas. We're gonna do our research on the saws. Here's a voiceover on why they're here. What we stumbled upon were the controversial Rio Grande buoys that Texas Governor Greg Abbott put into the river. These buoys have saw blades that can cut and maim the immigrants as they cross the Rio Grande cut and river. Maim, Many call bruh. this practice cruel. Maim. And to me, like it's decapitate, bruh. Seems inhumane. But you were not supposed to go past that trooper that's there. I didn't see any signs. I didn't know. Of course, your car can get in and please leave. I was told that this area is open to the public now. The orders may have changed. Yeah. For sure. So he's going to get the clarification from the higher ups. If it is open, you guys are welcome to film. Good? Okay. Are people right there? I think yeah. so. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. people just got caught. So it looks like people oh, just got damn. caught crossing the border. They don't the errors. I ain't going to lie. If I was them, I wouldn't like a camera being flashed in my face. I'm Venezuela? I'm from Colombia. Okay. Por que sales tu país a venir aquí? ¿Qué tipo de problemas tenían allá? En mi caso, la guerrilla, los paracos, Mucho narco. narcotráfico allá. Sí. ¿Nos costó dinero? No, nada. Venimos no, con lo poco que tenemos. Claro. ¿Cuántas semanas o meses tardaron para llegar? Un mes, por ahí más o menos. ¿Qué ha ocurrido con él? Él, él no puede ver. No, sí. sí, él sí ve, pero tiene problemas. Me quitaron el reloj, me quitaron lo poquito de dinero que traía. ¿Quién robarte? México, no quiso. Over and over. Wait, did the officials rob her or did like like some gangs rob Again, her? From the immigrants, we heard that the hardest part of their journey was dealing with the Mexican police who were beating them and robbing them at every turn. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The Mexican the police do not want them to leave for some, back for to some Mexico weird reason. The idea of having to escape and evade the Mexican police again. Hey, Venezuela. Venezuela. Colombia. Colombia. Ecuador. 
Hondureño, bueno, nosotros tres. Colombia. Colombia. Si puedes hacer el viaje a América, ¿qué quieres hacer con tu vida? Trabajar. Que nos den seguridad y trabajo. Escucha sobre los buis con los ojos. Eso es lo que vemos riesgoso, pero más riesgoso es perder la vida. Y primero que todo hay que lanzarnos a la suerte. Primero es nuestra vida. ¿Tienes familia que fue contigo en el viaje que no están aquí ahora? Yo vine sola. Todos solos y nos hemos encontrado para venir hasta acá nos hemos ayudado uno con los otros. So, ahora estamos en el, la frontera americana y hay la policía aquí. ¿Qué piensas va a ocurrir ahora? Ellos nos dijeron que no podíamos cruzar porque sería ilegal, pero nos dijeron que esperáramos aquí, que migración llegaba a las 6 de la mañana, que podíamos dormir aquí porque allá es peligroso y aquí estábamos seguros. ¿Necesite más agua? Sí, por favor. Sí. Gracias. Yeah, gracias. Dios le bendiga. ¿Cómo fue el viaje? ¿Cómo fue el viaje? Súper terrible. Agua, todo el camino, hidratándonos con agua. You, you gotta think this journey has probably so much. Like, like, bro. You know, you know something's bad when people have made movies about it. People have made movies and documentaries about the journey that immigrants go through, bro. Like, que teníamos en nuestro país de violencia. Por todo tu viaje, fue difícil para tu ver. Fue difícil. Very difficult, ayuda bro. el todo el viaje. Hey, bro. This, hey, yo. This is telling me right here, bro. Y'all, y'all have no excuse, bro. Y'all have no excuse to be successful and to do anything you want to do, bro. Because this dude has terrible eyesight and was still able to manage getting here, bro. If he can make it there, you can make it anywhere, bro. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Eres amigos mejores o fue extraños? ¿Qué qué hondo estaba el río? Estaba bien hondo en unas partes. En algunas partes sí, mucha corriente. Y era una señora que estaba pasando con una niña, pero no tuvimos que devolver porque no pudimos. Para allá van bastantes familias, como unas unas seis siete familias por ahí hay una señora embarazada. Vamos a Walmart y va vamos a volver, ¿ok? It is unbelievable what some people go through in an effort to have a good life. Like, this isn't bro. a reminder of what to appreciate in your own life. What I've been saying, bro, y'all, I swear, people take being here and being in the position that they're in so for granted, bro. Like, dog, there are people here, there are people out there that are literally dying to come here, bro appreciate being here bro regardless of all the bull crap that happens here and i'm not saying america's a perfect place no place is perfect but i just i don't know you gotta you gotta ask yeah, it's crazy like just a fence can the whole world the difference hey wearing all this bling that's the obvious sign of the transporter Some oranges Oh. 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 The bestia is a train that runs through Mexico. Bro, people literally sit on them Jones. Imagine if the train shakes and some people fall, bro. Like bastante Dang. peligroso para aquí. Nosotros venimos atravesando cuatro trenes. Durante el día, el día muy And they got a, they got a jump on them too, I'm pretty sure. Muy frío. ¿Qué es el problema con Venezuela y cómo puede Venezuela edificar más fuerte y seguro para la gente ahí? Cuando empezó la crisis en Venezuela, decidimos emigrar y porque no teníamos comida, no teníamos agua, la luz se nos iba a cada rato. O sea, ya Venezuela no era un país como para vivir. Muchas personas se han muerto de hambre. Cuando comenzó la, la crisis, todo desapareció. Toda la comida desapareció. Cuando salió COVID, se cerró todo hmm. en el país. Jesus. Antes del COVID ya todo estaba cerrado. Things are rough right now in Venezuela. They have a leader now, President Maduro, that arguably stole the election and is still in power. The U.S. government does not like President Maduro, so they implemented harsh trade restrictions that have negatively impacted the Venezuelan economy. Inflation went up nearly 2,000% in just 2022. 2, Basic necessities are right. scarce and the price to buy them is astronomical. Things are really tough right now in Venezuela. ¿Cuántos años tienes? 26. Deseo que el mundo puede encontrar paz y ser sin violencia. ¿Qué mensaje tienes a la gente? Nosotros los migrantes tenemos un Dios poderoso 
que sabemos que no va a ayudar. Indeed. Para él. Indeed. Muchas gracias y a buenas Indeed. suertes. Y... Igual, yo le bendiga. Hey. Indeed, bro. Thank you. Yo sí tengo un problema político, tengo un cargo muy alto de venganza en mi país. Cuando tú sirves a alguien, pues sirves, ¿no? Pero cuando dejas de servir, When you stop serving somebody, they put you to the side. Like, anyway, that's the thing, bro. People, like a lot of people, they, they, this is just an everyday life, bro. You're not useful to somebody, they're just going to toss you to the side. La parte política estamos corriendo peligro. Mi país fue gobernado por Correa, por el presidente Rafael Correa. Ahora está la línea de la, del partido de él también punteando para ganar nuevamente. ¿Qué grupo político estás parte de? Yo formaba parte de Pachacuti, la parte indígena, el movimiento oh, indígena they... más grande de, del país. Del país. ¿Qué piensas sobre estos con las partes de que cortar? ¿Qué? Mal por ese presidente, mal por esa persona que está gobernando, porque no solamente. Yeah, I ain't lie, them saws is crazy. Is it that deep? Like de that you know. Is it that deep? Yo compraba mis snacks para mí, pero tuve que dejarlos en el camino. Pero había niños que lloraban. Yo les daba mi comida, les daba mi agua, w les daba person, lo que man. yo podía, les daba mi dinero. O sea, yo tuve una posición más y un poquito más para poder avanzar. No pagué coyote. Mataron a mi mamá, a mi abuela, que traigo los What? Reportes, la... They hey, killed his hey, mom hey, and his grandma? Yo tengo un, un, un hermano que está aquí en Miami. No. Yo quiero que Diosito me ayude a... Gosh, bro, this Hermano, is, deseo el mejor this is para crazy. Y lo siento sobre tu situación y los problemas en tu país y con todo Yo, de mi caso que cosas like, están nothing. mejor para todo. Eres valeroso, fuerte, like... Bueno, ya nos vamos a ir, pues muchas gracias. Bien, bien. Gracias, bien, gracias. Bien. Bendigas. God bless, man. God bless you right now Tommy G American speechless this be a reminder to never bitch about anything again anything I have to complain about absolutely pale yeah I ain't gonna lie there was a there was a point in my life recently where I just stopped complaining bro because it's like yo I'm not invalidating my problems or nothing but yo there's people going through stuff like this like I can't bitch about nothing I can't I can't complain about oh um this person got my order wrong. Oh, this isn't. Oh, this isn't going right. Oh, I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. Like, yo, I got a roof over my head. I got family who love me. I have a place to stay. I'm up again. I have things to eat. Like, bro, like, I can't complain about nothing. And these people is out here, literally dying to come here, bro. Like, listen to the story we just heard today. We we're living a life that people will literally die. Yeah. About to say me, me right now, you right now watching this video, bro. We are living a life that people are dying for, dying. You feel me? Like, I can't it's complain about nothing. Man. Perspective for us, our gratitude. For even, even the people in the hoods, bro. Because I know some people watch me, and they're from the hood. Even y'all, bro. Like people would die to live the life that you live. You still got a roof over your head. Food here and there, like, like, yo, like. For this country, how we feel about this country. Let this be encouragement to you and motivation to you. To whatever you do, work very hard. Whether you're a bricklayer or a plumber. Working or very a hard, bro. Every day. Engineer, Fucking day, whatever it day is, bro. Like, do your part. Working on his YouTube next every day, bro. Every day, man. Every day. Man. Every day. It's being Boy Mars of the Dawn. Um. Pray for all those immigrants out there, bro. Be grateful for the life that you have, man. We sometimes we we get too busy in life and we 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 just don't sit back and just realize, like, damn, my life's not that bad. There, there's people out here that would literally trade places with you in a heartbeat, bro. People that are literally dying to live the life that you live. So just be grateful, man. And keep working, bro. Keep 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 doing what you got to do, man. I love y'all, for real. 100K on the way. I'm gone. Peace.